Hi, it's Lisa here from Capstone Editing. In this video, I'll explain how to use which and that correctly following the conventions of Australian English. The general rule is to use that before a relative restrictive clause and which before a relative non-restrictive clause. Of course, implementing this rule requires a solid understanding of the difference between those two types of clauses. Okay, so let's look at restrictive clauses first. These are also known as defining clauses. A restrictive clause changes the meaning of a sentence by modifying or restricting the subject of the sentence, which is typically a noun. Conversely, a non-restrictive clause, also known as a non-defining clause, merely adds additional and non-essential information to the sentence. Okay, so let's look at some examples of sentences with these types of clauses using which and that to demonstrate how important it is to get it right and how you can change the meaning of the sentence by making the incorrect choice. The research findings that were likely to cause a controversy were never released. This sentence means that the research findings that were not released were only the ones likely to cause a controversy, but the other research findings were released. This is a restrictive or defining clause. The subject of the sentence, the research findings, is restricted to those likely to cause a controversy. Now let's look at this sentence. The research findings, which were likely to cause a controversy, were never released. This sentence means that none of the research findings were released. This is a non-restrictive or non-defining clause. The phrase enclosed by the commas could be dropped without changing the meaning of the sentence. If you did, it would read, the research findings were never released. The fact that they were likely to cause a controversy is additional information and non-essential to understanding the sentence. Note that the which here that comes before the non-restrictive clause comes after a comma, whereas there was no comma before the that in the first sentence. If you were to use which in this sentence instead of that, but without commas, it would read, the research findings which were likely to cause a controversy were never released. Because this sentence incorrectly uses which instead of that, it becomes ambiguous. Does it mean that all the research findings were withheld or just the ones likely to cause a controversy? There's no way to tell from the sentence itself. So it's important to note that you need to use a comma or a bracket or em dash when introducing non-restrictive clauses. This is because non-restrictive clauses are typically set off from sentences with these punctuation marks. One last thing to note is that these are rules for Australian English, which tends to follow American English more so than British English, just on this particular grammatical issue. British English does sometimes find it acceptable to use which instead of that for restrictive or defining clauses, but only so long as the result isn't ambiguous. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do like it and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.